Hello, my name is Eduarda, and I'm a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to use an SSH tunnel and MySQL Workbench to connect to a private Amazon Relational Database Service, or RDS, MySQL DB instance, that uses a public Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Let's get started. Before you connect over an SSH tunnel using MySQL Workbench, confirm that the security group inbound rules, network ACLs, and route tables are configured to allow a connection between your EC2 instance and your RDS DB instance. Also, confirm that the EC2 instance can be connected over the internet using its public IP address from your local machine. For more information, See the scenarios for accessing a DB instance in a VPC documentation linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Open MySQL Workbench. Select MySQL New Connection and enter a connection name. Choose a connection method and select standard TCP IP over SSH. For SSH hostname, enter the public IP address of your EC2 instance. For SSH username, enter the default SSH username to connect to your EC2 instance. Choose SSH key file and select the .pem file used to connect to your file system. For MySQL hostname, enter the database endpoint name. For MySQL server port, enter the port number that you use to connect to your database. For username, enter the username that you use to connect to your database. For password, enter the MySQL user password. Choose test connection. After the test is successful, choose OK to save the connection. After the connection is configured, you can connect to your RDS DB instance using an SSH tunnel. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.